is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Odell Beckham on the return. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. carry for the former Nittany Lion. This is Saquon Barkley. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. AJ does a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he is finally going to be brought down, but not before he gets it to the Panthers' 12-yard line. A tremendous play there from Saquon Barkley. 57 yards on the ground. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They run the counter now. It's Peterson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On second down, here's Barkley. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this defense holds on the night's opening drive. First and ten, Watson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. But it's going to be second down. The first carry now for Reggie Bush. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down, and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Bush and he'll be taken down at the 18. 25, the ball carrier. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. 18 yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now an option play on second down. Quick throw completed by Watson. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And just like that, it's third down. Watson down to throw. Slings this deep from McLuhan. It got his man complete. 
past the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Complete to Terry McLaurin, 85 yards. As his guys are on the board first here tonight. Well, the game had been pretty uneventful offensively until that big strike. No doubt about it. Almost felt like they were just going back and forth a little bit in the first quarter. But in the second quarter, things ramped up a little bit. <laughs> things jumped up. And you're exactly right. Going to make a highlight film or two. We'll be watching that one later on today. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind him, try to put together another drive. Hey, a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And on the catch, it's Andre Johnson. Mahomes give him nine there on the first down completion. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Mahomes firing complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And some room to maneuver. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. A well-executed 22-yard gain. First down, here's a run with Peterson. Adrian and he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. By Marcus May. On the stop there defensively, Marcus May with the tackle. Second and eight at the, the last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On the draw, this is Barkley. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll run with Barkley. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Seven. Morton Anderson to kick off. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. At their own 29-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. 
And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Out of the gun, Watson steps away to his left. He gets it left side to Johnson. A gain of six there on first. Throwing again on second down. Watson. Throw left side complete. It's Johnson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 28. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. To the air yet again. Watson flushed out right. He'll run it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Joseph's got it. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. To kick off. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. This is taken just shy of the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At their own 28-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and 10. On second down, here's the option. On the RPO, that's complete right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And the Panther first down. This is Bush. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, they're going to go with the option. That's out to the left and complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. There's a quick throw right side, and it's complete. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Eric Ebron, 38 yards. And the Panthers add on to their lead. It's good to make it 17-7. Makes the score Panthers 17, Giants 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. 
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Mahomes now on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. The first down screen pass, good for five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They fake the give, now Mahomes. And he's got it, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Touchdown! From 21 yards away. And the Giants have got it back to a one-score game. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. Makes the score Panthers 17, Giants 14. Following the touchdown, here's Anderson to kick it away. From the 10. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. First down, Watson. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Intercepted. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own five-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Now they go screen. It's complete. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. They run the counter, Peterson, and he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Brings up, they go play fake. Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And out of bounds, this will depend on where they spot the it, and they'll say the at the 45. At their own 45-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them eat up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Looking to throw on second down. Watson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 46. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. 
And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Give them 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. That time, a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Taken down. The Hall of Famer Jack Youngblood there on the stop. Like any team, they would have loved to have had more yards on that run, but it looks like they just want to get to the two-minute warning and see what they want to do after that. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second down, Peterson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Back to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. He showed off the athletic juke, but it didn't buy him a whole lot of real estate. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A 25-yard attempt. Anderson's kick is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. Well, we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got the two-minute warning to come up. Are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime? The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that. But they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Four yards the pick up, first down. A four-yard pickup on the play. Watson. He'll buy some time right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. At their own 43-yard line. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Now Mahomes. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Now Peterson. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So everything rests on the left foot of the great Morton Anderson. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So everything rests on the left foot of the great Morton Anderson. He's hit on his one earlier attempt tonight, but this, a little more pressure packed for the win. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff.